Full length walkthroughs, course skills, photo stocks, CG renders. Sweet lordy, it's Digital Landscapes Reloaded and there's never been a training course quite like it. So today we've got a big update for you. We are completely revamping, redoing, re-uploading Red's Digital Landscape tutorial bundle training course. It's a revamped version of his original Digital Landscapes. If you're not familiar, this was a Photoshop breakdown course that Red put together when he first met me. Now, we've been buddies for about a year now, haven't we, Red? Yeah, a year and yep. a few months. And my colleague, my esteemed colleague, Clinton Lofthouse showed me Red's work and I thought, wow, we do not have a landscapes guy on our team. So I really wanted Red to come on board to produce content for us. But here's the problem. Red did not have a system decent enough for doing video content. So we put out the initial course that done really well. And with the proceeds from that course, we have upgraded and updated all of Red's equipment. And not only that, he's much better at narrating and speaking English now because he's been crunching out a good few videos for this channel. So in this video, uh, me and Red, we're going to be talking about what's new with the updated digital landscapes. Okay, so for a refresher, I'm just going to show you the original course. This is the digital landscapes course that Red put out when we first started collaborating together. It's got breakdown tutorials. Um, Red shows you how he created these images, provides you with the PSDs, and we also threw in some Brucey bonuses from Neo Stock as well. There's an 80 premium pack for figurative stock elements and PSDs included as well. After getting a year's worth of feedback, these are the improvements we've decided to make to Red's course. We have improved screen recordings, improved audio, improved narration. This is actually an A to Z lesson structure and it also includes real-time walkthroughs. So the artwork produced from the absolute beginning to the absolute end, uh, uh, step by step. Now on our channel, we have a lot of time-lapse tutorials and a lot of time-lapse recordings, and we don't really do real time. It's usually due to the nature of the work that we do is quite complex and takes a long time. But in Red's new course, these are the extras that you'll be getting. On top of that, we'll have the PSD reference files from the new pack, and also we're going to be adding loads of stock assets. Now, one thing that I do have to mention, guys, if you've already purchased the Digital Landscapes course, you will be getting all of these updates emailed to you at no additional cost, 100% free. So in effect, you are getting two full training suites for the price of one. And you'll also be getting the updated stock assets. Before we bounce on to the next bit, Red, could you explain a bit about this course skills section and why it's been structured like this the core skills are in a specific rank we are going to start with the compositing i'm going to show you how i cut my objects what's the best tools to cut certain objects uh, specific yep. types of objects how to cut models how to cut plants how to cut landscape uh, in, uh, formations like uh, mountains rocks uh, all of these things and then after that, we are going to talk about compositions and how I place my objects in the scene. And we are going to talk about the rule of third, the golden ratio, how uh, these lines work, how to follow them, and how to place your objects uh, in specific way to create a story uh, and to drive the eyes of uh, the viewers. Yep. Uh, after that, we are going to talk about the values, and that's very important. How, and that's something that you watched me talk about in my previous videos uh, on the channel. This, this is the first step of uh, mixing and blending the objects together. Uh, so what I'm seeing here is, is that each one of these core skills, these lessons, are in kind of the rough order that you would do them when putting together a digital landscape in Photoshop. Yeah, you, you, you have you to tend follow to this. cut things out first and then you decide yeah. where to place them, 
with composition and then you're thinking about the values the 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 bright tones the dark tones make yeah. it visually engaging and then it shows here you've got color matching lighting atmosphere brush control transform tools and global processing so this is a complete a to z guide from beginning to end on how to create these um these digital landscapes in photoshop now red can you tell me a bit about these full length art art walkthroughs okay so recently i have made these two artworks uh, the first one is called the uh, old west and the second one is called uh, ruins so as you can see here this uh, cowboy uh, artwork that you see i've posted this image on facebook and it's got a very uh, good uh, attraction from the uh, audience people really like it and they want yeah. to know how i made it so i chose this artwork and i'm going to make it from the beginning in my course so you can so see that how... is a full length walkthrough from beginning yeah i'm to going to start from the beginning uh we are going to start from the uh, composition, uh, composition, then compositing, then values, how I fix the values in this artwork, how I uh, match the colors, how I cut the objects, how I worked on the uh, atmosphere, uh, all of that, how I made the lighting, the shadows, all of these things that I'm going to be making uh, on this artwork from the beginning. So it's, go not, so it's not going to be a speed art, it's not going to be a breakdown. It's going, going to, to be, be a full yeah. art walkthrough. Every single one of these artworks, not only does Will Red give you the walkthrough and the breakdown, but he'll also give you the original Photoshop document so you can go in and reverse engineer these composites to see exactly how it was done. On a selfish note, I'm actually looking forward to taking this course myself because my environmental and landscape skills are not that good i you mean know. you watched my first landscape course and you told me that you learned a lot from it and you really liked it yeah yeah i did um i, I made some big improvements and big steps forward i'm still nowhere near you guys but i'm getting there slowly but surely so now red's given you a bit of an insight into how the course itself is going to be structured and what's included i'm going to now tell you a bit about the extras that we're going to be including with this so the original course came with the psd documents and also the 80 um, figurative photo stocks but it makes sense that this is a digital landscape course so i'm actually putting together a gigantic bundle now this is just a sneak preview of some of these trees shrubs uh, bushes tropical plants and elements that will be included there will be a minimum of 100 of these assets included with the training bundle itself and on top of that we're going to be doing a photo shoot We've got a really secret plan in place to create some epic mountains, beaches, lakes. There's going to be an additional 100 photo stocks on top of that. So when you get the digital landscapes bundle, not only do you get the old course with all of these stock elements and freebies thrown in, but you'll also be getting digital landscapes reloaded. The brand new course, the new course skill lessons, the full length walkthroughs and the updated stock elements, CG elements and photo stock elements on top of that. So Red, I believe that you're releasing these lessons, these new lessons on a weekly basis. So for example, week one, you're going to do a compositing lesson. Week two is composition and so on. Can I ask why you're putting digital landscapes reloaded out as a weekly lesson plan as opposed to all in one go yeah i believe if the students uh had a uh, full week to practice the video it's going to be uh, more better and they will have much better understanding for the video so i'm going to put a video like for the first week they are going to watch it and they will have a full week to uh repeat it uh, practice it and that will be much much better if uh, they do so, Red, when will the first lesson be coming out for Digital Landscapes Reloaded? The first lesson is going to be out uh, Friday the 13th of uh, August. 
Okay, and if anybody wants to jump on board and get the old lessons, the stocks, and the new lessons and stocks, what do they need to do? To, um, what, what do the guys need to do to gain access to this? They can click on the link on the description and buy my first landscape course. Okay, so uh, go onto this page here, click buy now, grab that course. They will get all of the original course, all of the original stock assets, and then from Friday the 13th, the first lesson for the new course will come through to them by email, and then each week the new lesson goes out. Is that right, Red? That's right, yeah. That's cool. And I'm just going to chip in with the stock elements will be sent on the final two weeks of Red's new course. So the CG assets, the trees, the shrubs, the plants, and the super secret squirrel. That's hard to say when you've got a lisp. <laughs> the super secret new photo stocks will be sent out as well. So I'm personally really excited to see the new lessons read and polish up my less than stellar landscape skills. Uh, so on a selfish note, I'm really hyped about that. But you're an absolute superstar, Red. We are so super stoked to have you on the PM team. Your videos have been a really big hit with our audience. And I would say it's a wrap for this one, guys. That will do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for tuning in. I look forward to catching you at the next video. See you then. See you later, Red. See you later.